ladies and gentlemen and and any other gender of course don't wish to discriminate it's 2021 Bront. get a grip welcome to your marketing course i am your lovable host your favorite business creativity specialist Brunt mon west and today we are going to talk about your usp finding your usp and you might thinking finding my what the, the, the what now finding my what finding your usp your usp your usp or your unique selling point what is your unique selling point well it's the point of uniqueness for selling yeah seems obvious your unique selling point is what makes you stand out it's that one special thing that you can identify that is better than your competition it's what your customers want and it's something that you do really really well so how do I answer this question what is my answer so you yeah you look, look, look at me you look at me yeah answer the simple question why should I buy from you and not your competition now, if you can answer this simple question, then we can really get cracking and find our USP. If you can answer why should I buy from you and not your competition, when it's a very busy world, I've got money, I've got a choice of where I spend my money, why should I spend money with you rather than next door? That's not always so easy to answer. But let's look at your unique selling position. Let's take two products that are very similar with still some differences but each one has a unique selling point let's look at the iphone and let's look at the samsung now the iphone people they go oh well the iphone is the superior phone and uh, we, we are the iphone people and uh, yeah i will never trust another phone I, I i live i breathe we are one it is me i am them we is us and then you get the Samsung people and say, no, 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 no. What, what, what? You iPhone people, you know nothing. We all, we, the Samsung clan, we, we Samsung, we same song, the same song. We sing the same song. Yes, we are them. They are us. We is they. You are not us. We are not you. You think iPhone cares that you go and that some people go and buy a Samsung? No. If you want to go buy a Samsung, by all means. That's not what they're selling to. But if you want to belong to the iPhone crowd, because iPhone, they don't sell phones. They sell status. They sell something more. You belong to a clan, a group, a, a, a culture, the iPhone culture. And Samsung is the same. You will get people that will only trust a Samsung phone. And you will get people that will only say, well, no, I, I don't know why you would even consider buying an iPhone. This phone is clearly the better phone. They're both very similar indeed. Uh, difference in price maybe, difference in, in how they function, but at the end of the day, it's still a very similar product. Now let's look at something that is very similar, but has a unique selling position. Let's look at coffee. Let's take mug and bean, and let's take Starbucks. They're both coffee, it's coffee, it's coffee, it's it's fine, right? It's it's good, it's fine, it's coffee. But they're not selling you coffee. They don't care about the coffee. Coffee is just a vehicle to get you to buy things. It's the product, it's not the service, it's not the value, it's not their unique selling point. Mug and Bean might think, we're not selling you coffee, we're selling you comfort, we're selling you uh, easiness, we're selling you a, a, a family experience maybe. Whereas Starbucks says, well, we're not selling you coffee. I, I, it's not the coffee that matters. It's the culture. You belong to a Starbucks culture. Your creativity, your uniqueness, your, your, your wonderfulness, this, this, this. That is what Starbucks offers. We, we, we see that in you. Be a Starbucksian, if you will. It's not the coffee. These two products are exactly the same. It's coffee, right? It's coffee. But the unique selling point is different. And so they sell to different types of people. It's not the coffee that matters, it's the position that they put themselves in. It's the perceived value they give you. Now let's look at 
two products that are very similar, indeed probably identical, but has no unique selling point. Because unlike iPhone and Samsung or uh, Starbucks and a, uh, Mug and Bean, there's never going to be a, a clash between these two groups. And that's the bar one and the Mars bar. You never go, someone says, ah, oh, but you, you Mars Barsians, you bars of Mars. Get that thing out of my sight. How dare you eat that inferior product in front of me. And then a the Mars Barsians goes like, oh, bar, bar one, bar none. No, no, it's like, bar, you have got no bars, no bars for you. You are not the Mars Barsians. We are the Mars Barsians and, and you are not good. We are better. Thank you very much. Goodbye. It's not going to happen. They basically do the exact same thing. There's, there's no division between them. And only when two things are equal in value, in construct, in, in anything else, then, only then, when all things are equal, then we argue over price. If you were to walk into a, uh, into a shop and see a Mars bar and a bar one next to each other, then they're both the same product, they do exactly the same thing, they look the same, they taste the same, and now we're thinking, okay, why should I spend $11 rather than $10 for a Mars bar, where I borrow one costs 10 bucks? Why should I spend $1 extra on something that is identical? Because they are equal in everything, then we can argue over price. They have no unique selling point. Never you will see the, the clash of the, the, the clash of the bars. Never will there be the, the bar one and Mars bars war where the two groups just at each other's throats and then bang bang. That's that's our explosion sound in my head. Well done. There will never be a point where there's a thousand years of darkness because the bar one and the Mars bar people will at each other's throats. Because they don't sell to you it's not it's it's not a unique selling point to buy either a bar one or a mars bar it's a chocolate it's a chocolate it's a chocolate it's a sweetie thingy that's very nice but it's no different than anything else it's not that they're not going to make money but they're not going to position themselves as as the only one to be if either of those products were to disappear tomorrow no one would really care well, I'm sure they would care, but no, but you as the customer would never care. It doesn't matter. If there was only a choice between a Mars bar or a bar one, and they basically the same thing, you're going to go with whatever is there. Whereas if you were an iPhone holder and you were looking for an iPhone, your new iPhone, you would go to extreme lengths to get the thing that you want, because that's something that you will accept no substitute towards because that is their unique selling point. You don't belong to just, it's not just that you're buying a phone, you're buying into a culture and experience. That's their unique selling point. It's not the phone that matters. It's how you feel about it. That's what they're selling. Because when we make decisions, we, we don't just make decisions with our brains, our cookie, weird, wonderful brains. When we make decisions, we we involve our feelings. We involve our sense of right and wrong. So when we try and buy something, all these things come into play. And sometimes there's one thing comes into play. If you're hungry, you're gonna buy something, whether it's good for you or bad for you. It's not the logic that's working here when you're trying to sell something, when you're trying to buy something. When you can tie all three of these things together, then you've got something really cooking there. So let's say you're stuck in an elevator with me, the big, big kahuna, the, the grand poobah of my company. And you get 30 seconds until I get off this elevator to my next destination. And now you have to sell me on something. Okay, go. Right, 30 seconds. What are you going to talk about? Are you going to talk about how cheap your product is? Well, we're the cheapest in the world. Okay, cheapest, cheapest, cheap. Okay, that's nice. It breaks quick. We we are so awesome. You will you will want to work with us. We are the best of the best of the best. We have been around for a hundred and fifty thousand years. Oh, we we got X, Y, and Z, and and B and C and D and B B B and C C C and B B C C Bs. Okay, thirty seconds up. Which one? What was your unique selling point? What made you stood out from everybody else and wanted to sell to this company? 
to the Grand Puba. 30 seconds. Now what he's doing is he's looking in the elevator and saying, oh, this is very awkward. Not sure why he's Indian. This is very awkward. I'm not feeling this right now. I, wh what's he talking about? He talks so much and he's not saying anything. Well, maybe he's thinking, he's like, oh, it's just making it all about them. It's just talking about we and us and me and this and all kinds of things. This is what we do. This is how we are. Maybe he's thinking, oh, it's like there's a lot of fancy words. I, I have no idea what he's talking about. All this, all these fancy words that's just related to him and his industry. I, I have, I've got no clue. Maybe he's thinking, he's like, oh, that's a lot of choices. That's a lot of stuff that he's giving me. I have no idea what to do with it. None of these tactics are going to sell. Because it's not unique. It's not you. So, what your brand does well is what we need to start with. We need to identify that. Then what we need to do is we need to think, what does the customer really, really want? Then we add on, what is my competition doing? What are they doing that's really good? What are we doing that's really good? And what do the customer actually need and want? Now we can think, okay, what if we focus on what the competition is doing and what the customer is, is buying? It's like, oh, well, no, because then you're just in the losing zone. If your competitor meets the consumer's needs better, you will be crushed. Because remember, if everything is equal, then we argue about price. Maybe you're thinking, okay, what about competing about something that the consumer doesn't care about? Well, just have fun wasting your time. Just because you want, just because you've got it and you think you're doing it cool and you're thinking your competition is doing it very cool, doesn't mean that's what the customer wants. So you're just wasting your time. You're putting in money into marketing that just doesn't, doesn't re reward you at all. be thinking okay what about if we focus on what we do really really well and how we can position ourselves to meet the customer the customers wants now you're in the winning zone now you're thinking now that's that's next level thinking you've made a clear difference that meets the consumers needs and that stands out from the competition you're not worried about what they're doing. You're worried about what you're doing and how you can be best beneficial to your customer. There is a there is a fourth option, which is I I call this the dragon zone, the zone of dragons. But this is very competitive area. It's 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 high reward, yes, but it's very risky to operate in this. It's a win lose situation. This it's very difficult. And if you're going to try and operate in this situation. You're going to have to be very, very crafty indeed, highly innovative with everything, and you have to execute everything with superior quality and force and service and everything. So uh, you can absolutely do that if that's what you want to do, but it's not easy and it usually ends up in failure. Very fierce competition. I hope this made things a little bit clearer. If you're going to answer the question from your customer's point of view, and if your customer has to think about it, they have to ask, what's in it for me? It's not about you. If you are in business, it's not about you. You are there to provide a solution. You are there to provide an experience. And you have the right to position yourself in a way that gets your point across. And it makes you seem the better choice. I hope this video has helped to clarify things. If it hasn't, you can email me. But I would very much love it if you did a quick review on bit.ly forward slash finding USP and leave me a review and I would really appreciate it. Okay, till next time. Cheers.